Wallace sets his drink in the cup holder of his chair and wipes his hands dry on his pants. Since I have you to myself for a moment, I want to give you something. I was honoured to attend the Handfa celebration of your dad and Shannon last year, but wondered if you'd been to a traditional druid wedding before. No, this is a first for me. Oh, grand. I was hoping to bring something to the table to contribute to the festivities. I place my hand on his wrist and meet his gaze. You brought the most important thing. Without you, there would be no him. The two of you are in a great place, and because of that, he's reclaimed a sense of foundation and family. We're both pleased and proud to have you here representing the Mackenzies. The Mackenzies? Aye, well, we're a wee clan of two for now, but tomorrow we'll be three, and hopefully in time we'll grow. He winks at me, and I'm washed with warmth, knowing he'll do better with his grandchildren than he did with his son. Before the moment gets awkward, he returns his attention to the gift bag. Open it. Oh, it's heavy. I set the bag on my lap and rifle to the bottom to come out with a hand-painted rock. The brown oval stone fills the palm of my hand and has four triquetra meeting in the center. Purple and blue flowers, green leaves, and little white dots that look like baby's breath decorate the outside edge. Do you know what it is? A very pretty rock. Aye, it is that, but do you know what it is in the sense of marriage? Nope, no idea. In a traditional druid celebration, the officiant will ask the bridal couple to present their oathing stone. It's a stone the two of you will place your hands upon while saying your wedding vows. The belief is that by holding the stone during the vows in turn, your love will be set in stone. Oh, that's lovely. Grand. I hoped you'd think so. He smiles, looking relieved. Turn it over. I flip the stone and read the faded words painted on the other side. In the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. Wallace nods. It was a saying my mom used to whisper to me when life was especially hard. She painted it on her oathen stone so she would always remember the gift of their love. I wriggle my nose as my emotions tingle and bring me close to tears. You're giving it to us? You're going to do things right, I feel it. My parents had that kind of love. I never did. Maybe it escapes a generation or maybe I haven't found my other half yet, but either way, I want the two of you to have it. I love it, truly. Thank you. He nods. Now, don't you feel you have to use it as your stone? This is your time to do things your way, but I thought it was a gift that bore given. I stand and set the rock in my chair to hug him properly. We are absolutely going to use it as our stone. I want as much Mackenzie tradition as I can get this weekend. I don't know if you noticed, but we cools tend to overpower. Mackenzie laughs. It's a truly wonderful thing. Blessings and happiness, Faye, forever and always. Forever and always.